Uh, so hi guys, welcome back to new Photoshop tutorial. My name is still Manny, you can still find me on Twitter at MannyPhoto. And today I'm going to show you guys another simple trick. Um, and it's basically called the crashing liquefying trick. So normally when I Photoshop, I try the liquefying tool and it always lags and it's so frustrating. So yeah, here's a simple trick to just get around having your liquefying tool from crashing. Okay, so first of all, I've already opened one of my portraits again, and I'm not really a fan now of liquefying his face and doing stuff, so this is purely just for the tutorial. I just want to show you guys how to get around this crashing liquefying thing. So first of all, my image is 300 dpi. It's a very high quality image as well. If I zoom in, you will see it is full resolution and it is very high quality, so I'm not uh, taking you guys here for a ride. Okay, so let's start with just going up to filter and try to liquefy quickly. So let's also just select our layer obviously here. Filter, liquefy and our Photoshop is taking that into liquefy. Okay, so in liquefy now on the left hand side I'm just going to take my normal move tool. Also going to make my brush really big, say around a thousand percent or something. Let's also type it in. Okay, a thousand. And now I'm able to obviously liquefy his face. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to tap, tap and tap again and oh, this computer is lagging already. Tap, tap, tap. Now it's nothing working. Oh, now this happened. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, I can obviously go steps back here. Tap, tap. Oh, oh damn. No, this is not really what I want. This is so frustrating because when I tap here with my vacuum tablet, it's like going, but it's not working. And then suddenly you get this weird effect, right? So it's just frustrating. I need to like do the step two or three times until I got it right. But there's actually a very simple trick to get around this. So let's do that trick. First of all what I'm going to do is press cancel over here, get out of our whole liquefying filter again. Then I'm going to just go over and go to image and image size over here. So now what we're going to do is take our 300 dpi image as you guys can see over here, high quality image and just rasterize that down to a 72 dpi web image. So it's just completely taking the canvas down, whoop, as you guys can see now. So it's very small, it's not super high quality anymore, but we're still able to see things and work on this image. Let's zoom out a little bit again and now we're going to take it into liquefying tool. So let's go back to liquefying, a filter over here liquefying tool that will also load way quicker as you guys can see our brush is also super big now so let's take our brush down maybe to 200 percent okay and have a look now if i tap here on my board i can really easily just do my liquefying tricks okay and nothing is lagging everything works pretty awesome i can even push my brush size up a little further and just tap and I can also do it really quickly like if I tab all the way through here it's working nothing is lagging I can just go through it so I've done all my liquefying and I'm happy with all the liquefying that I've done on this person but how do we apply this now to our 300 dpi high quality image very simple we can just go here to save mesh so I'm going to say select save mesh on my desktop or on my computer. I've got a folder here called Photoshop Tuts. And in here, I'm going to save this mesh now under a certain mesh name. So just for instance, say we're going to write here test. Or maybe we're going to put this to tutorial. Okay, so tutorial mesh. We're going to save this now. Hit save and that mesh is saved. Now we're going to go and hit cancel again because we obviously want to get out of the 72 dpi low res image. Now we have to switch back again to the high quality. So simply go back to history, say delete layer. That was my latest step. As you guys can see, also the image pops out again. So we're back to our 300 dpi high quality image. Let's press Z. We're going to zoom out all the way a little bit further like that. Okay. And now we're going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to do a quick command J here, duplicate my layers, just to show you guys a comparison after. Okay, so over here, layer number three, copy. I'm going to take that now into filter, back to liquify. And in liquify, I'm not even going to play with any of my liquefying tools or anything because I've, I've done that already. I can simply now go to load mesh, select load mesh. In here, select my tutorial mesh, dot mesh, dot mesh, and say open. Have a look, that already shrinked everything already selected from that mesh onto my 300 dpi mesh. I can say okay over here. And have a look, Photoshop already renders that for me. 
and that will already be applied to my 300 dpi image without having me to struggle with liquefying you know and just having a struggle because everything is lagging so over here is the before and after before and after so as you guys can see it works pretty good and pretty fast okay so that's all for today's tutorial that i wanted to show you guys with this crashing liquefying tool please support me with a like hit that like button Leave a comment if you still have any questions about this technique or if you're interested to see something different for a change or if you have any ideas, I'm welcome to check out all the comments you guys leave. Then as well, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week in a new tutorial. Bye!